Hello and welcome to my channel. This is the second video from Muscle Learn Optimization Concepts playlist. In this video, we are going to learn what hyperplanes and half spaces are. A hyperplane is the set of points satisfying this equality, and a, a half space is the set of points satisfying this inequality. Therefore, hyperplanes are associated with linear equalities like this, and half spaces are associated with linear inequalities like this one. By the end of this video, you are going to learn one analytical meaning of a hyperplane and two geometrical meanings of a hyperplane. Also, you will learn the concept of half spaces while understanding hyperplanes. Well, analytically, a hyperplane uh, is the solution set of a linear equation among components of x. Why linear? Because we have an inner product here. Uh, as an example, in R2, take this linear equation, uh, x1 plus 2x2 equals negative 1. We can rewrite the, the left hand side as the product of a row vector 1, 2 times x1, x2. And I can rewrite that row vector as a column vector with transpose times x1 and x2. This column vector is x, and x is in R2. Uh, so we have a transpose times x equals b and b in this case is negative 2. Another useful fact uh, is that a hyperplane is an affine set. Uh, uh, if you don't know what an affine set is, please refer to my video on affine sets. I'll put a link to that video in the description section below. However, let me just explain why a hyperplane is an affine set very quickly. In the find set video, we learned that the solution set of system of linear equations x, where uh, uh, ax equals b, is an affine set. Uh, here, instead of capital A here, we have uh, a row vector, which is a transpose, uh, that gets multiplied by x. So the points satisfying this equality uh, form an affine set. And these points are points of uh, the hyperplane. Okay, before going to the geometrical meaning of a hyperplane, let's graph the previous example, x1 plus 2x2 equals negative 2. Uh, we always can make the right-hand side 1 uh, by uh, if uh, it, uh, the right-hand side is not 0. So we have x1 over negative 2 uh, plus x2 over negative one um, negative two is on the x1 axis so it is the denominator of x1 and negative one uh, is on the x2 axis and it is in the denominator of x2 uh, notice the direction of the vector a here we have a transpose times x equals b uh, which is our hyperplane and this hyperplane is uh, this uh, um, wide line here. This vector is uh, perpendicular to the hyperplane. This is not uh, 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 an accident. It is always the case. A equals uh, 1, 2 is called the normal vector uh, and it is perpendicular to the hyperplane. Um, you can see another example of a hyperplane uh, on my video for exercise 2.5 from convex optimization book i'll put a link to that video in the description section below geometrically the uh, the hyperplane a transpose x uh, uh, equals b can be thought of as the set of points with constant inner product to a given vector a uh, which is called the normal vector. Uh, I use a 2D plane for demonstration purposes. Uh, so uh, in order to understand what I am going to uh, say, just look at the inner product between x0 and this vector uh, a, which is in blue line. So you can see that the inner product is going to be here. And if you do this inner product with x1 and uh, uh, 
vector a you would get this part uh, again and if you do this for x2 also you would get the red part uh, and so uh, a hyperplane is the set of points with constant inner product to uh, a vector a uh, which is called the normal vector also the constant b determines the offset of hyperplane from the origin uh, and that is the geometrical uh, understanding of B. Well, the second geometrical meaning can be understood in this way. If you take any X0 uh, in the hyperplane here, uh, so we have A transpose X0 equals B, and the general formula is that a transpose x equals b and from the above we can write a transpose x0 and we have a transpose x minus a transpose x0 by factoring out a transpose we get uh, this equality so uh, it means that a hyperplane is the set of all points where we have this equality and all these points uh, can be written as x0 plus a perp this is uh, uh, read as a perp and a perp is the set of all vectors orthogonal to a orthogonal means a uh, perpendicular uh, a perp uh, has another name as the orthogonal complement of a okay we said that x can be written as x0 plus a perp just plug x in uh, into this uh, equality to see what happens so we have a transpose uh, times x minus x0 we just plug x in here we have x0 plus a perp now we can cancel these two and then we have a transpose times a perp and because of the definition of a perp we have um, zero this shows that the hyperplane consists of an offset x0 which is here um, uh, plus all vectors orthogonal to the normal vector and all the vectors orthogonal to the normal vector is called a perp perfect now that we uh, know what a hyperplane is we can introduce a half a space a half a space uh, as its name suggests divide rn into two half a spaces suppose this 2d plane here is rn uh, and we have this hyperplane a transpose x equals b all the points that are on the the side of the hyperplane which is not along the direction of a satisfies this inequality uh, we call such all points x a closed half space here uh, since we have less than with equality sign uh, when we have a transpose x uh, without equality sign the set of all x's satisfying this inequality uh, is uh, called an open half space similarly for this picture uh, on the left hand side uh, all x's on the opposite direction of a um, all the points here uh, uh, is a, a closed half space uh, to see more examples of hyperplanes please refer to videos of exercises 2.5 2.6 2.7 from convex optimization book i'll put links to those videos in the description section below uh, another fact is that half spaces are not a fine because we cannot write them as the solution set of a system of linear equations. We don't have equations, we have inequalities. Finally, half spaces are convex sets. Why? Because if you take two points x in a half space and y in a half space, 
then uh, the convex combination as lambda x plus 1 minus lambda times y, where lambda is in the closed interval uh, between 0 and 1, uh, should be uh, in the set. So uh, let's prove that. Uh, because x is in the half space, we have uh, a transpose x less than b, and because y is also is in the ha half space, we have a transpose y uh, uh, less than b. Now we want to see uh, if uh, the convex combination is also in uh, the set. So just plug that in, and then. Um, expand a transpose we get a lambda times a transpose times x plus 1 minus lambda times a transpose times y and a transpose times x here is less than b because of this one and a transpose times y is less than b because of this one so we put b here instead of a transpose x and we put uh, b also here instead of a transpose times y and if you add them you get b that means the convex combination is also a point of the set meaning that the set is convex great so what are the takeaways we learned that uh, there are three different ways of thinking of a hyperplane one analytical uh, way uh, and two others are geometrical ones also we learned uh, hyperplanes are affine sets uh, and uh, as the last fact we learned that half spaces are associated with hyperplane and we saw hyperplanes are convex sets but not a fine set okay thank you for watching my videos and i hope you've enjoyed this video you can support me by liking my videos and giving them a thumbs up please make sure to subscribe to uh, my channel to get notifications from new videos also it is very huge help to share my videos with anyone who you think would find them useful have a great day